Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today. It is Tuesday the 16th of February and today I am vlogging because I am really in the mood for vlogging today and today I will be having a productive day. I will be filming, I will be cleaning my room, I will be showing you guys what I have bought recently, like from the shops and stuff. So yeah, but this morning I did wake up at around like half eight, nine o'clock. Um, I had some breakfast, I had a shower and I actually went to B&M with my mum to get some stuff for my sister's birthday. Her birthday is on the 8th of March, so um, in a couple of weeks around that time and we did get a few things for her birthday, so we're all organised there. And I've also got um, her birthday presents all sorted as well now, which is very good. But I do love a good trip to B&M. Who else loves a good trip to B&M? Because I am obsessed with B&M so much, like, you know, favourite shop ever. And I did put some makeup on afterwards and I also straightened my hair. Um, I've gone for like a brownie eye look today and the palette which I did use was actually like a Christmas lighter palette from... Too Faced. I've had this probably for like a, a year or a couple of years and I did use the brownie shade in this but the packaging is so cute like how cute is that like it's adorable but yeah um I did actually go to Home Bargains a few years ago I did buy uh, like a few things so I'll try and find them all and show you because like why not but firstly I did actually buy a T-Zone Blackhead Fighting Scrub as I do have oily skin and my blackheads on my nose and like my like the T-zone area pretty much are really big and open at the minute so I was actually in need of a facial scrub so I did get one and this was like 179 and something so I got that and then I did actually get I'm just trying to find what I bought because like I've kind of put them all away to be honest um oh yeah I did of course have to buy some cleaning products because like it isn't um a home bargain to be in them haul without buying some oh my god my face is so dark some clip like cleaning products so i did actually buy two disinfectants fabulous obviously a porn star martini so basically it smells of passion fruit and porn star martini is my favorite drinks ever i'm just gonna smell this and this was only 99p but oh my god home bargains have so many amazing brand new fabulosa products in there at the minute this one is so good to be able to mix it with some water and clean all my surfaces with this and i did also get another one which is a raspberry Villa. so basically it is a mix of raspberry and vanilla together which just smell of like sweet oh my god oh i did buy these two for 99p and then what else did i buy like honestly i think i bought some i got to be hairspray for scott's house because i like i never have any hairspray at his house and also some razors how boring is that has he actually buy this gorgeous gold tray for four pounds in whole bag and to put all my perfumes on all my perfumes on perfectly like how gorgeous is that here are all my favorite perfumes in a minute um i'm actually wearing this scandal perfume today and it's my favorite perfume but yeah um i do have a lot of perfumes i did buy that and then i did also buy a little vase for my flowers um how do you actually get these Oh, I've just got for Valentine's, like some lovely roses. Oh my god, the roses have opened up so much. Some eucalyptus, some bunny tails, which I love bunny tails at the minute. Like, oh my god, these roses, I don't know if you guys can see, but they are massive. Oh my god, they're so pretty. But I did buy a lovely pink vase for £3. And they look very pretty in there, but oh my god, my flowers, Valentine's are so cute. And speaking of Valentine's, um, oh, the ring light's in the way. Um... I just want to show you guys what Scott actually got me for Valentine's. Our Valentine's Day card on our first for Valentine's. We actually got each other for the same card for Valentine's, which is so cute. But, oh, I've got our little photos on there. Our first date. Um, on our way to Ikea. Christmas Day. Meals out before lockdown. Going on walks and everything, go for like more meals, and then yeah, look at that. It's how cute is that? It's adorable. But he did actually get me some amazing things, and I've been super spoiled. So, firstly, he did actually buy me this pink, gorgeous uh, Valentino bags 
if you guys know me you will know that i love my handbag so much and i have been eyeing this handbag up in like house of fraser online everywhere like that and it actually came in a valentino bag as well which i thought was really cool so he got me that and i was who got smacked just i didn't expect him to get me like anything like this but yeah first thing he got me some lint strawberry and cream chocolates because he knows that i love my chocolate and these ones are absolutely gorgeous um and they're pink as well and if you guys know me i love my pink so i got them off him also a little photo of me on our first trip to ikea oh my everything i didn't even see that that is so cute oh look he is adorable like look at that oh my god i'm gonna start crying in a minute um he also got me a couple's quiz i think we will film a youtube video for doing this i think it was quite fun and interesting isn't it so we got that um have you noticed how there is a color scheme of like the pink and red for these presents like it's so cute and then he did actually get me this sugar blossom yangi candle because every time i went to asda um in the valentine's section i was like oh my god this smells amazing and i love my yangi candles and he did buy me this it is the 538 grams and like oh my god the yankee candles are my favorite and this just smells divine and the color is like a lovely pink color so like it'll fit him really well with the color scheme of my room so he got me that and i love my yankee candles and finally he did make us a memory box so just say scott and alice on it and then you open it up and it has a little teddy bear in it and we've named him barney he's so cute he has like a little red bow on him look how cute that is and then he's um, like it's basically put a lot of our photos and memories together so it says i will always love you forever and ever like how cute is that and um he told me to name this bear as soon as i opened it name me and, and there's like a lot of our photos and then inside here there's like other photos um our memories and everything other things inside which is really thoughtful and so cute a picture of me and daisy which oh i love his dog daisy he made us a movie night once and it's so cute um but yeah there's lots of cute things here what's this oh yeah our train trick is to, to liverpool as he surprised me on my birthday um we're going to liverpool i can't believe that but yeah i'm so excited and oh my god like all these presents are so cute so thank you scott if you're watching this obviously i have thank you already but again you are the cutest human being i know um but yeah but anyway i did also make my bed this morning it is the first because in lockdown i never really made my bed because i'm always in the house and just like i leave it to get all messy but i thought i'd make my bed today because um it's a good thing to do in the morning also my outfit of the day today my top is from h&m it is a lovely silky satin like who cut out top and my jeans are from top shop like guys i cannot believe that top shop is closing down and and going on to asos i suppose you'll to buy all their jeans online but still i can't believe it's going our high street is gonna be dead soon like what the hell but yeah these jeans are like a lovely ripped pair of jeans and i love them but yeah but the time is currently around oh my god what is the time it's up uh, is 20 past 12 i am quite hungry so i think i'll probably have a pizza for lunch today a chicken pizza because they are my favorite and i'll tidy all the mess up and also i'll make a mess as well and i think after lunch i will film a video because i do have a good few ideas of what to film i'm not gonna say anything i'm gonna keep it a surprise for you guys yeah oh and also um scott actually bought me a little rose plant like about a week ago from Lidl I've been looking after it I watered it and everything but I came home after working for him yesterday and it looks really sad look at it he told me to take a lot of the leaves off as um as when you water it if you have a lot of leaves on the plant all the nutrients are going to go to the leaves instead of the actual flowers so yeah it's a sad time for me right now but hopefully I'll be able to keep it alive and I keep it healthy and look after it as much as I can but this is really sad right now and as soon as I came home I was like oh my god how I feel as a plant mother like oh my god I should be locked up for making it look like this but you know it's fine um I suppose I'll just have to take extra care of it right now 
Oopsie, oopsie. This morning I've been actually watching a bit of YouTube, you know. I've been catching up over the last few days because obviously I've been working with Scott for the past three or four days. Um, and we have been so busy with cakes, like so many cupcake orders, like the Valentine's boxes as well. Oh, he did actually make us a Valentine's box. I will put it on the screen somewhere, but it was absolutely fine. Um, he made some cupcakes, some biscuits, some cheesecake, some chocolate lollipops. What else did he make? Uh, something else, but I actually forgot what it is. <laughs> I'm actually catching up. I'm watching a bit of the Brandonio on YouTube because he is a good YouTuber. But yeah, um, I'm going to go make some lunch now because uh, my tummy is rumbling. And then I think I'll go and head on and film a YouTube video because on my days off I do... On my days off, I do like to film a few YouTube videos because I, I like to stay motivated, you know what I mean? But I did actually feel my eyebrows a bit thicker today. My eyebrows are naturally like thicker anyway, and I do use the eyebrow pomade, but I've been really wanting to try an eyebrow pencil, but I do not know which one to go for. So please, could you guys leave some recommendations of what eyebrow pencils I should use because I have tried a few eyebrow pencils like in the past and some of them have smudged really bad or some of the colours have been off so please um, leave some recommendations because I do use like a Morphe eyebrow pomade illuminating latte but I really want to try an eyebrow pencil to maybe make my eyebrows look more natural but I am kind of feeling the more full of eye, like eyebrow like heavier look today but I will try something new, do you know what I mean? So lunch is nearly ready. Um, as I said earlier, I will be having a chicken pizza for lunch because honestly, if I got to choose my favorite pizza, it would be this Goodfellas stone baked thin chicken pizza. You need to have a bit of pesto on it as well, which just adds to the flavor. Like it has a lovely hairy chickeny taste. It smells divine, tastes amazing, obviously. Um, but yeah, but it's also pancake day as well, which means if i do have all the ingredients i will be making some pancakes um i did actually make some pancakes five days ago for breakfast and i made like three massive ones and honestly i was so far afterwards but they taste so good and then i also made some pancakes for breakfast on a valentine's day for me and scott at his house and oh my god they were the best pancakes i've ever had so if we do have all the ingredients in the house to make some. I might have a couple for the pudding um, after my pizza. I know that some people do call dessert pudding or pudding a dessert, if you know what I mean. Um, I used to call mine pudding. Is that a northern thing? I don't really know, but I do say a lot of northern words like nout. What else is there? Um, so what's another northern word? Mine just gone all, all blank now. There's like now. There's um oh, what other words are there now? Pudding. Um Oh my god, my bra brain has gone blank, like what the hell? But I am a northerner, so I say words in my own words, you know what I mean? Because I'm a northern person. But anyway, the pizza is pretty much ready now. It has been in the oven for 17 minutes. Um I I do usually eat like half pizza for lunch and then I'll have the other half the next day for lunch because like it's just easier to do it like that way and plus I don't like eat a lot for lunch time really um my favorite meal of the day is tea time or dinner time as other people may want to call it I think saying dinner tea time is a northern thing as well probably but yeah but Tea time is my favourite meal of the day, probably. I do eat a lot of food on the evening time, I will say that. Like, in the morning time, I hate breakfast. Like, I hate anything. I will stop rambling now because I've probably been going on for so long about, like, random stuff. But I will be having lunch now because, honestly, my tummy is absolutely rumbling. And this pizza, as I said probably a million times now, it is divine. Oh, my God. That is... Oh. Oh. I love it. I really do love it. <coughs> pizza, yeah, there we go. Lovely pizza. I look as if I work in a pizza shop or like an Italian. I really don't. <laughs> so hungry. I'm honestly so excited. Mm, ready?
Mmm. Mmm. Even the cheese on the pizza is just like so soft and like the perfect consistency because there's nothing worse than when you eat a pizza and it's like really stringy and like it gets caught in your teeth. Beautiful. Highly recommend. So I've actually finished filming a YouTube video. I did film our designer handbag collection because I know that a lot of you guys do love like all my fake designer like photo videos or collections and everything like that. So I thought that it was time to film a fake designer handbag collection because I know that a lot of you guys are obsessed with like finding bargains because like the designer items can cost a lot of money. So there we go, I finally filmed one. Honestly, I went to the toilet and I came back in my room and now I'm so out of breath. I seem to get out of breath like a lot during this lockdown. And I don't know if it's because I'm a lot unfitter due to sitting around in the house like more often or what but like it's just really unhealthy now time to make some pancakes so you will need is 50 grams of plain flour one egg i think it's 150 mils of milk a tablespoon of olive oil or sunflower oil and a tiny bit of salt as well so i'm gonna put them all in the mix i'm gonna measure it out on the scales obviously and I will be cooking up some of the pancakes because it is pancake day so like I can't not make any pancakes, you know what I mean? Um, and plus I am a pro at making pancakes. I've made them like twice last week and then once this week, so this is exciting. So I'm just going to wear them out and then I'll catch up once they're all been weighed out and it's all mixed and everything. I'm making pancakes now so I'll have to wait until it's heated on this side and I'll have to turn it over and then you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, oh, it smells good already. Time to flip it over. Oh, I've kind of broke it. Okay, well, that kind of worked, kind of not. Right, <laughs> there we go. And I'm also going to have some toffee sauce on it as well. Yummy. Let's have a look and see how this is going to be. Hopefully I'll be able to flip it if I can, but I will not try too hard, otherwise it'll be end up on the ceiling or somewhere like that. But it does smell good and it does look like it might need flip. So I'm just gonna, I'm scared, I'm really scared, you know. Ready? I'm really scared. Oh, oh, we're nearly, nearly. Oh, I kind of, it kind of worked. But I'm still a bit too scared to fully flip it over. But it's looking good. Looking, I think I'm looking good. I think I'm gonna have a bit of chocolate on it as well because I cannot have pancakes without any chocolate on. I'm not gonna lie, I do love my chocolate. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that beauty. Obviously, I have ripped it a little bit, but oh well, it's fine. It's all good. One more pancake. One pancake down. One more to go. My oil is nice and hot because it just it instantly thingies. Right, I just hope this goes okay. Oh, oh my god. This one is sizzling away, everybody. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is sizzling away. Like, big time. <laughs> That's proper sizzle. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide. But while I cook that one, I'm actually just gonna put some toffee sauce on mine. So here is my pancake, as you guys can probably tell. This is the sticky toffee sauce from M&S. So I'm just gonna put a bit of that on while the other one cooks. Just gonna drizzle it on. If it's, is it even open? Oh, is this even being used? Wait a minute. Why is it not coming out? Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. That's it. Oh, look at that. Look at that, everybody. Oh, beautiful. Bloody beautiful. And then I think there could be some chocolate buttons in the cupboard as mum is always stocked up on chocolate in this cupboard. She is just, oh my God, there is. This is in a bath mini egg chocolate as well. Oh my God. She's been hiding that well. Well, I think I'll have a few of these on pancake as well because, like, I'm gonna push the boat out and have chocolate on because, you know, I am a chocolate fanatic. Anyway, let's see how this one's doing. Right. So, dairy milk, giant chocolate orange button. Like, oh my god, who else loves chocolate orange? I can't be the only one who just is obsessed with chocolate orange. Right, let's put a few of these on. Oh. Mm. I'm just gonna put a small handful on. And put them on like so. Mmm. Let's, let's put a few more on because I'm greedy. 
Mm. No. Look at that. I'm going to go and sit down and enjoy that. Mm. I want to try and attempt to flip the pancake again. But once it's kind of cooked on this side, I'm just going to wait like a little bit and just check that it's nice and cooked. Um, because I just want to show you my awful flipping skills. So, ready? I'm really scared. Oh, I got it! I just got it. Just almost fell off the thing, and I don't know what to do. Right. Okay. I'm gonna flip it back over again because that. Oh my god! I think I broke it now. Oh, I've just broke the pancake. Oh no! That's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. Okay. Well, that lasted well. I guess you can have it back. Right. So, so it is a little bit later now, and. I can't just say, me and my mum absolutely loved the pancakes, like they were so good. Um, I did find a recipe on BBC Food and it was such a simple recipe to follow. All you needed was eggs, flour, egg, eggs, flour, <laughs> what else? Salt, olive oil, what else do you need when you make eggs? I can't remember, but like it was a pretty simple, easy recipe to follow anyway and... Um, only took a few minutes to cook in the frying pan but yeah but anyway um i found a video going up in 20 minutes it will be a girl talk video as i'm filming this i currently do have seven videos like scheduled ahead of time so my uploading schedule is a tuesday thursday and a saturday eight videos already scheduled means i am already like two weeks ahead of schedule for videos which is crazy but like i've just been so bored i've been filming a lot of videos and everything also please excuse the wallpaper coming off oh my god it's so bad look at the wallpaper coming off anyway yeah um so i'm already ahead of time every video has been filming a lot of videos vlogging a lot you know but I do enjoy filming YouTube videos for you guys to hopefully enjoy. <laughs> I am very tired and I really want to take this makeup off because like I feel as if it's just like caked on my face today. Does anyone have those days where you feel as if your makeup is just like caked on your face and just like can't wait to take it off? And also I want to test a couple of new skincare items as well so I think I'll take this makeup off now and then I'll just do my skincare before the video uploads because like there is nothing better than taking off a full face of makeup and just having a bare face and just be able to chill around the house and not have to worry about getting any makeup on like your bedding or or cushions or whatever it is. Obviously earlier in the vlog I did show you guys that I did get a blackhead scrub so I'll be using that. And then my mum actually kind of gave me a number 7 eye and lip cleanse because she actually got it in a set and she doesn't use like eye cleansers. So she gave it to me because she knows that my like eyelids are very like sensitive and i think i could be allergic to the eyelash glue that i am using and yes i have been looking for the original dual lash glue everywhere in the shops but for some reason it's like sold out everywhere or they don't sell it so it's really annoying and then i've had to look on beauty bay for it but it's like eight pounds when it's like five pounds in the shop so why would i want to spend like three pounds more plus postage for an eyelash glue do you know what i mean um yeah anyway I'm going to go and use my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and Cotton Pad to take my makeup off because I feel as if I've kept my makeup on today. I don't know why or why I feel like this, I'm not quite sure, but I think it's because I've just been in the house and I have had my makeup on for like six hours almost, so I just want to take it off and, and plus I want to get, get my cozy dressing gown, the PLT dressing gown in case you're wondering. They are the best dressing gowns to go for and also I cannot wait to take these eyelashes off because they are the tight lashes in TL6 for me but they are like so big and quite heavy on your eyes as well especially if you've been wearing them like all day um but yeah but my room looks so pretty in this lighting um the wallpaper is from the range I've had it on my wall for like three or four years um but yeah Oh, I can't wait to get these eyelashes off as well because they're just so heavy. Um, also, the eyelash glue I have been using is the Duo Lash Quick Set one. It does pull out a lot of your natural eyelashes. And it makes your eyelids like flake from the glue and it's really bad for your eyes. It can make your eyes really sensitive. Um, so 
I would not really recommend that glue if your eyes are quite like sensitive anyway because I know that mine do water and they get itchy quite a lot but firstly pull the lashes off oh my god I look so bald Ooh, look very bald with no lashes on but I just feel so much better for it oh my god that is so good um also I did over the I did overline my lips a little bit too much today, so like it looks as if I have like lip fillers so I really don't and it's kind of so much as well. I look like a man now with no eyelashes on. So everyone, I am now back. My skin is now cleansed, exfoliated, toned and moisturised and my skin does feel super clean and so fresh. My skin looks a bit red because I did use an exfoliator and exfoliate and exfoliation does make your skin get like erythema slash like redness on your skin um but yeah so like i do have very red cheeks and white under eyes oh my god but yeah um anyway my video is now up on my channel so if you have not watched it already please go and watch my girl talk video um it's a good little video actually so i recommend that you guys watch it because honestly I really do appreciate all your guys' support, like, on my channel, like, every like, every comment, every, like, s person who subscribed, honestly, really appreciate it so much, and it means the absolute world to me. I am <laughs> in my PDJs, it's only, like, half five, well, is it even half five? It's, like, 20 past five, and I'm in my PDJs already. Also, the camera quality is not that great, um, yes, I do vlog on my phone still. I have been having a look at some, like, vlogging cameras but to be honest like they are a lot of money and because i am only on 80 percent of my w wage i'm not getting paid a lot really so i'll try and save um youtube has been good to me this month so maybe i might treat myself in a few months but i doubt it because like cameras are so pricey these days i think i'm gonna end this, this vlog here because like I will just be having a little pamper evening. I will be chilling. Also, I am very tired because I was up at half eight this morning. I'm being nosy and taking in the outside world of what's going outside as well. So, yeah, I am getting quite distracted. But, yeah, I am just going to end this vlog here. Really hope that you guys have enjoyed. I'm looking for a mess now. Bloody hell. And if you have, please make sure to leave thumbs up. Comment down below. There's people walking past my house. It's so awkward. Um, a comment down below subscribe if you are new it really means the world honestly i really appreciate all you guys subscribing to my channel like it really means the world and every person who leaves a like a comment on my videos and even subscribe to my channel you, you guys will never know how much it means to me like i honestly enjoy uploading on youtube like and every time i get a new person who subscribes to my channel it really makes my day so yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye buddy.